Did you know that over 80% of you who watch my videos aren't even subscribed? So if you enjoy what you see, please consider subscribing with the post notifications on. And let's see if we can hit today's like goal of 50 likes. Thank you. Hi everyone, this camera angle is called I Forgot My Tripod Upstairs and now I am on my knees in my basement. Before we get started with the video, I think we should all say goodbye to this basement because you probably won't see it for a while. The reason is because I'm actually leaving to go back to college for my senior year tomorrow. Now, of course, I'm excited to go back to Chicago and see all my friends who I haven't seen in a long time. And I'm excited to move into my apartment and all that fun stuff, but I'm not very excited to pack because as I mentioned, I leave tomorrow morning and right now it's Friday night and I haven't packed a single thing yet. So in today's video, I think I'm going to document the whole packing process. I'm going to show you the driving process and I'm actually going to show you moving into my apartment as well. Now, although I did wait to pack to the last possible minute, I do have some excuses. I have been working a lot and on top of that, I actually have have a lot of stuff already packed. And you may be wondering, Eric, how is that possible if you haven't packed yet? How do you have things already packed? That's a great question. When I was kicked out of my dorm sophomore year because of that whole COVID thing, you may remember that. I took all my stuff, brought it downstairs to the basement, put it in a bunch of bins, and never touched it. So a lot of the stuff that I'm taking to my new apartment hasn't actually ever come out of its bins since the beginning of 2020. The main thing I'm really focused on packing is clothes because this semester I'm actually gonna dress stylish. I won't just wear these Nationals t-shirts all the time. I'm actually gonna put effort into, you know, my style and my appearance. So maybe when I'm upstairs sorting my clothes, you can help me pick out some cool clothes. But I'm gonna get started with the whole packing thing and I will see you then. All right, so I packed these first two bins. As you can see, I'm holding this one with tape and this is all the stuff that I don't wanna bring. I decided I'm not gonna bring this which I'm really sad about. All right, everyone, apologies for the very poor lighting. As I mentioned, I am filming this at night, or at least it's starting to be night, because of course I waited till the last possible second to pack my clothes. Honestly, I really don't have that much to pack. I really just have to do these clothes. When it comes to my mattress and bedding and all that stuff, that stuff's actually being shipped to my apartment and will arrive the day I move in. How convenient, I know. So as I mentioned, I am planning on kind of upping my style game this year. I say that as I'm wearing a baseball t-shirt and this ridiculous backwards hat. As you can see, I got this nice striped blue and white shirt. This is something I would have never worn my freshman year of college, but I'm a changed man now. I think I got this at Plato's Closet for like $4, so it was a pretty nice deal. Here's another thing that you would have never caught me wearing a while back, but now I think I could rock this for sure. Also, as you can see, I'm stepping up my professionalism game, and I got this nice button-down shirt. I actually got an internship this semester, so I plan on wearing this at my internship. Not only this shirt, I'm sure I'll find other nice shirts to wear. I'm not gonna wear this one every single day. So as I mentioned, I'm not very good at this packing thing. I'm kind of just throwing things in there and just seeing what happens. Honestly, I'm probably overpacking, but that's probably better than what I did last semester, which was underpack. And as a result, I had to do my laundry like every single week. And sometimes the laundry room was full. So sometimes I would wear clothes that I had worn before. I know that's really gross and you probably didn't need to know that. So that's why I'm gonna bring more clothes. I also have some revolutionary news for you. I actually bought a pair of jeans, which is crazy because in my 21 years of life, I have never owned a pair of jeans until now. All right, so as you can see, this suitcase is pretty much filled up. Honestly, I didn't really utilize my space very well. I didn't really plan this out. But luckily I have a duffel bag over here where I can throw excess clothes into that. It's my senior year of college, new school year, new me. I am gonna start wearing ties and by ties, I mean just this tie because I don't have any other ties. It's literally just this tie. Honestly, it feels like I'm packing my entire closet at this point. All right, everyone. So I'm just about done packing my suitcase and my duffel bag. And now I'm going to bring this downstairs. And then I'm going to probably throw in some camera equipment in my backpack, my laptop, other important stuff I'm going to need for the road trip. And then I think that's it. I'm sure I'm forgetting a ton of things, but I'll figure that out once I get to Chicago. But I think I'm going to end this portion of the vlog here. And I will see you tomorrow when I wake up very early. Hello everybody, ignore my wet, messy hair. So it is currently 7 a.m. and no, I wasn't able to sleep last night. So right now I'm gathering things like electronics and toothbrushes, stuff that I couldn't pack last night, and then I'm gonna load everything up in the car with my parents. All right, so we almost finished packing the car and I almost forgot my student ID, which would have been really bad. All right, so for those curious, this is what the situation in the back seat looks like. I got some bedding here, I got some 
some bins. I got another bin, a duffel bag, and my uh, suitcase back there. All right, so of course my family had to take a mandatory trip to Starbucks. So right now I'm waiting in the car because I'm too tired to go inside. <laughs> Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that cool little travel montage. I know, it was really cool. Right now you're probably like, Eric, you're not in Chicago right now. There's no big buildings and stuff. And you're right, I'm actually in Indiana. My family and I drove 10 hours today and we stopped in Indiana to visit my aunt. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna make the drive to Chicago. But yeah, during my whole break from making YouTube videos, I've been trying to exercise more. So right now I'm trying to get my daily walk in. I'm gonna figure out how to get back to my aunt's house and I will see you people in the morning. Hello everyone. I woke up late and I need to be out of the house in a few minutes so this is really exciting I got a lot of sleep but I'm still really tired so that's really fun I don't think it's supposed to work like that but oh well I will see you in the car goodbye All right, hello everybody. This is the apartment. As you can see, it's really spacious. So right over here is my room. This isn't my side. This is gonna be my side. And I think we're gonna have Mattress Firm come set up this mattress in a few minutes. So that should be exciting. All right, hey everyone. So this is my room. I know it's really decorated right now. I will say Mattress Firm's service was like really good. They came in right when the time window started, set it up and was like gone in like five minutes, which honestly I've never, had like a mattress set up for me before so I thought it would take a little bit longer than that but they did it like instantly sort of the two people who helped set up my bed Thank you so much, you did a great job. So yesterday I went to Meyer and I bought two of these kind of like drawer thingies. So instead of being like a traditional drawer that you would have to set up from Ikea or whatever, I just bought these like two plastic drawer things and I think it was a pretty good investment. It was probably a lot cheaper than buying like a standard wooden one. Um, it's a little flimsy, but that's okay. I don't have very high standards. So right now I'm just kind of throwing in clothes. I mentioned earlier I did probably bring too many clothes, so Hopefully everything fits. <laughs> everybody so here's the situation I'm almost fully moved into my apartment which is really exciting right now while my parents are helping me setting things up I am going to run to Target to pick up a bunch of stuff that I forgot which spoiler alert I forgot a lot of things so I forgot shampoo body wash toothpaste deodorant laundry bag portable closet paper towels trash bags and also I need to make a copy of the keys. Oh, and by the way, I have a friend that's gonna be here in like an hour and a half and I wanted to meet up with him because he's in Chicago right now. So hopefully I have time to meet up with him. The move-in was actually going pretty well, but now it's actually really stressful. I feel like every time I move in, I'm always extremely stressed out. Right now I'm off the target. I'm gonna try to open this with one hand. Ta-da! Hi everyone, so here's the situation. I went to Target with my mom and we got a bunch of stuff and I just finished kind of moving everything in. As you can see over here, I set up my bed. I got an extension cord. These two bins, I haven't really set that stuff up. I'm kind of too lazy to put that stuff up. Maybe I'll do it later. Over here I organized all my drawers. So we got like underwear, we got long sleeves, we got short sleeves. I forget what I put here. Okay, shorts and you know, 
other stuff. Got some closet space over here. Here are some of my nice shirts. And then if we come over here, this is my side of the whole bathroom. And as I mentioned before, I went to get keys or well, my mom went to get keys because my roommate had given me the original pair of keys and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go make a copy. So we go to make a copy and then we test those out and none of them work, which is really frustrating and annoying because the whole move-in was actually going well up until this whole key fiasco. And I have to meet up with one of my friends really soon and I'm just really stressed out. The move-in day was going so smooth. We had the mattress put in, it was great. We didn't bring a ton of stuff. It was just so flawless. And then everything just kind of went like this. But right now my parents went to get a refund on the keys and get them redone. I don't know if getting them redone is gonna do anything because they messed them up the first time. I don't know why we're so confident that they'll suddenly get it right this time. But I have to meet up with a friend in a bit and eat food, which I'm excited about. I've, I've never met him in person, by the way. His name is Noah, he's a YouTuber. He's in Chicago the same time I'm here. So I was like, okay, well let's meet up. Everything's really stressful right now, but I wanna make time to socialize and meet him and do all that stuff and also eat because I don't think I've eaten anything all day. But yeah, that's where we're uh, currently at with all this. I will see you people later and hopefully I am not stressed out by then. All right, everyone. So I just went to get some food with a complete stranger. Do you want to you wanna introduce yourself? I'm a stranger. I'm going to take that, that, that. My name is Paragor Illusions, also known as Noah. But yeah, I finally got to meet Eric after knowing you for what, like four years on Twitter? Yeah, we've. I, I feel like we, we met on Twitter, we both did YouTube, and then somehow you were here the same time I was. Yeah. Was and like I was that. like, why not just meet up with someone that I don't really know? <laughs> and I, I had a good time, it was good, right? What yeah. did you think, what was your take on the dinner? About me, not the food. Did I live up to your expectations? Yes. Okay, I'm there glad. you have it. He's real, he's genuine, it's everything you want and more in a package deal. Okay, um, I'll pay you later for saying that. Assuming I don't forget, I'll link Noah's channel down below. Hey. And here's what I can do for you, Noah. So this is the end of the video, yeah. so I am gonna give you the privilege of outroing it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video at all, at any point, please let me know what part in the comments was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, like I said before, leave a like. But also, don't have to do that. I'm not your parents, I can't No, you, 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 I want, I, I really want them to do those things. I want them to subscribe, I want them oh, to like Oh, you need to do this, so subscribe, like the video, hit the bell notification if you comment. haven't already, comment too, and share this with everyone. Okay, bye.